Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We continue thanking God for his grace and love upon us. And so we still have a reason to put our trust in him. God who never changes. God who is always with us. First Samuel chapter 14. Today we look at verse number 21 to 23. The Bible says, Moreover, the Hebrews who were with the Philistines before that time went up with them into the camp from the surrounding country. They also joined the Israelites who were with Saul and Jonathan. Likewise, all the men of Israel who had hidden in the mountains of Ephraim when they heard that, when they heard that the Philistines fled, they also followed hard after them in the battle. So the Lord saved Israel that day, and the battle shifted to Beth Aven. Praise be to God. We have seen how God fights for his people. In this chapter, from verse number 1 to now verse 23, we have seen several people featuring. The first person is Jonathan, his armor bearer, Saul, and even the 600 men who were left with Saul. When Jonathan and his armor bearer decided to pursue the enemy. On the other hand, they are facing this common enemy called the Philistines. And uh, by and by, we saw that, yes, when God is together with us, it doesn't matter whether we are many or few. The bottom line is to be with the Lord. And as Saul was taking the roll call, we discovered that it is good to feature in God's register at the right time. Jonathan was where God was, God was fighting for his people. And so when Saul is taking the roll call, Jonathan is busy doing what God expected of him. Though when he marched out, he was not sure what God would do, God revealed himself for Jonathan and his armor bearer by granting them victory. As God caused the trembling, we see that Saul came to a realization that he is the leader or he was the team leader. And so um, we said that he called upon all the people to assemble and they even went down to the battlefield. When they went there, in verse number 21, what we are learning is that moreover, the Hebrews who were with the Philistines before that time went up with them into the camp from the surrounding country. They also joined the Israelites to fight or to they joined Saul and Jonathan in this battle. These people, these Hebrews had defected. They had left their people joining the Philistines. But now when they realized that the Philistines are, are, are affected and they are shaken, they decided to join the winning side. In our Christian walk, there are times when we experience people defecting from us, people moving to a different camp. The Lord is reminding us that when he comes through for us, because most of the time they will not march out or they will not go, they will not defect because we are doing so well. They defect when we, they imagine that all is not well with us. They thought that the Israelites were to be defeated by the Philistines. And this is where they joined the Philistines. But when the Lord intervened and the Philistines were conquered, they also defected from their camp and joined Saul and Jonathan. When people defect from your camp, don't worry. Know that nothing restrains God from saving, whether by many or by few. Stay there. And when God gives you victory, they will surely come back, even without you calling them to come back. The other thing we see, even those who had hidden in the mountains, they came out and followed harder, you know, after the Philistines in the battle. Even those who left out of fear, when the Lord thunders in your situation, they will come back. They will join you again. Verse number 23 gives us some other insights. That so the Lord saved the Israel, saved Israel that day, and the battle shifted to Beth Aven. Look at it. 
We have mentioned Jonathan, Saul, the armor bearer. We have mentioned them and even the 600 men. But when the Lord is concluding in verse number 23, all the credit goes back to God, not to Saul, who was the team leader, not to Jonathan, who dared go out, not even to his armor bearer, but all the credit goes to God. When God fights for us, may we learn to give him all the credit, all the praise, because it is not about us, it is about God who thunders, who conquers, who gives us the victory uh, against our enemy. When we take the credit, we miss the mark. When we give God the credit, we receive more blessings. The Bible says, so the Lord saved Israel that day. It is not about you. It's not about me. It's about God who gives us victory. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Keep strong. Know that the Lord is fighting for you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.